guys. Um, took a little hiatus and now I'm back. Um, I'm trying to rock my natural hair. I was at the beach today, so it's kind of crazy. I'm really happy to be back. I'm going to be going to the beach a lot more. I never really appreciated the beach growing up, but now I'm going to try to film as many videos on my ASMR channel here on the beach. But yeah, being back in California, there's this is the only place I can get my curls to come out. In Germany, it just did not work. Okay, done with that rant. <laughs> Happy to be back home, even though it's super weird to like be done with my life in Germany. Super weird. Like four years of my life was there and now I'm like, what is, wh where am I? What am I doing? It's a really weird feeling to just start new in your hometown, pretty much. So, um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about Five, five major differences I noticed while on vacation in the Netherlands. This is a video I planned to, I was supposed to make this video a few months ago, but life happens. And so now I'm getting around to it, but yeah. Also, thank you Skillshare so much for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a learning community for creative people to better themselves and learn new skills. So currently I'm learning how to write a script, which I never did before. And it's really exciting for me to learn from a professional. I'm taking this class. This guy has over 20 years of experience writing screenplays for film and TV. And I wanted to make this course to share with you all the information I'd learned over that time. And it is the most amazing course. I have learned so much already in just the few chapters I've taken. And for example, like the protagonist in a movie, I never understood how the person writing the script makes you just, you always just really love that person. And he explains exactly how to get your audience to fall in love with your, your character, even if they're a bad person. If you guys want to learn something new, um, I highly recommend Skillshare. The first 1,000 subscribers to click my link down below in the description box will get a whole month free of premium Skillshare. And, like it's free to sign up and everything. So yeah, try it out. I'm gonna be really sad when my membership is up in three months because I'm using it for so much. There might be a code. If there is a code, I'll put that down below in the description box as well. The first big difference that really shocked me was grocery shopping in the Netherlands. It wasn't the, I mean, the food was definitely different from Germany for sure, but what immediately shocked me was the little scanny things. Everyone has the little scanner and they scan the groceries as they put them in the cart. Like that's so smart. And so, yeah, but I guess that's like a, is that a trust system kind of thing? Super, super smart, I thought. And I, I think the Netherlands to me, it was very like high tech, forward thinking it looked like, because even in the grocery stores, they had those, like hello fresh prepared boxes with different meals in these little boxes and i'm like that's so smart they made it more affordable for people like me who can't afford hello fresh and also um like covid here in california is kind of like at the moment uh, everyone's acting kind of like it's done so it's kind of weird for me to talk again about covid which i know it's not done and i know the numbers are up by 60 percent in the last few weeks so trying not to think about that but anyways what I thought was different there compared to Germany was that uh, in Germany you would open up your app and they would look at your name and then they'd look at your ID um, but in the Netherlands they had a little scanny thing they would just scan your app but then they some of them would also look at your ID but most of them just scanned it and yeah um, so I thought that was high tech um, Germany was definitely much more slow, slower, super slower. Also, if you notice, my English is still bad. <laughs> Slowly coming back to me. Like I'm noticing now that I'm forgetting less words. My pronunciation and grammar is still like, I don't know. I've kind of immersed myself back into the US. And so next on my list is no dubbing of movies so that was a shock because in germany all the english movies are dubbed into german which was great for me as a german learner i loved it um definitely made it hard when you're like homesick as an american in germany if you really want to watch american movies on the tv but now i guess there's like yeah netflix and hulu and all that but 
I couldn't afford those stuff. So I was always relying on the TV for my entertainment. And so that was a shock to me. And it was a really nice feeling because I was really homesick at the time. <laughs> and to see the um, American English movies with the original English on there and with subtitles, which is how the US does it as well. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to like compare American culture in here too. So I'll try to do that. Tall people and tall toilets, I wrote down. So we stayed in an Airbnb and um, we were in this small town in the Netherlands. I don't know why I can't say the Netherlands, right? I am always, Netherlands, Netherlands. Um, so yeah, I have never experienced such a tall toilet. And um, I did visibly notice the people were quite tall, like, noticeably different for me compared to Germany. The stereotype of Dutch people being tall, I think it's totally true. I heard it's because they drink a lot of milk, like a lot, a lot of milk. That must be it. Very adventurous, colorful meals. No idea what's what are in the dishes at the restaurants. Um, we stayed in a little town called Elberg and um, I'll put a map here of where Elberg is. I can't remember right now what part of the N Netherlands it's in, but definitely closer to the German border. So we were looking for restaurants around the Elberg area and everywhere in that area, we looked at the photos of the meals and I was just like, what is that? <laughs> it's so colorful, huh? And then we looked at the menu and it was like course one, two, three, four, five, six. It was pretty common for the meal to be a six course meal. So I was like, hmm, maybe this is like a normal Dutch way of eating dinner, <laughs> like four to six course meal and super colorful and strange looking. But maybe this is just this little area in the Netherlands. I can't say it. Netherlands. Um, yeah, because it was a very uh, vacation area, so it looks like Dutch people come here for some peace and quiet because it's like in the farmlands. It's so pretty. I wanted to move to this place. I wanted to buy a house if I could afford a house. Like this was a beautiful place. The most greenest grass I've ever seen. Riding our bikes through the farm like area and the horses everywhere and just every farm animal you can imagine were there in Elberg. It was really cool. Yeah, I, I don't see farms. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Then uh, the next shock was, which by the way, I'm, I whenever I talk about this, I get a whole bunch of American hate in the comments about how, like, why do you expect the world to speak English? Like, please, none of that. That's I'm just here pointing out differences and stuff. That's all I'm doing. And I thought I was going to get by with a little bit of English in small town Netherlands. But what shocked me, which made my day, was that my many years of studying German came in handy because uh, all the people we came in, into contact with, into contact with, um, were, well, mostly they were waitresses, um, for the most part, or shop owners. Um, they c could speak German, a little bit of German, but they could not speak English. They always chose German when that was an option for them. And um, yeah, so that was, that was new for me. I didn't expect that, but because uh, it it wasn't too close to the German border, I thought we drove quite a way into the Netherlands. So I didn't think that they would all be learning German in high school. So let me know if you're Dutch watching. Did you have German as an option? And is it something that most people learn or was that just this side of the Netherlands? Let me know. Uh, but that was cool. So I could communicate. It was great. Whenever I can l use the German, I spent so much, so many years of my life struggling to learn. <laughs> it makes my day. So, yeah. And and also the the waitresses were so happy to use their German, and so I felt good that we were making them happy. <laughs> it was definitely a different experience compared to um, not being able to speak German in Germany. Maybe it's because it's a little vacation town though, so the people are pretty chill. It's not like it's not like a big city. I think that's probably why. Everyone is just there was in a general good mood. It was really nice. <laughs> so okay, those are the main big differences that I wrote down, besides one more, which is not sure if it's a big difference, it was just interesting. 
I noticed the Dutch people in Elberg in this area really loved um, to decorate the tables. It was like really important. It seemed like the table presentation. So there was always very like to me it was a little elaborate flowers and um, really nice and. It's something I never really thought about because in Hamburg I didn't really notice too much decoration on the tables besides maybe a little flower or something. But here it was kind of a lot. And then the other thing I noticed, which was really nice in, in Elberg, is that we got, all, like with our coffee, we always got a little cookie with it or a little cake. Just, and without asking, it just always came with it. And that's something I didn't experience in Hamburg either. Um, then again, it might be a small town thing. I don't know, but I've had a very nice time in the Netherlands <laughs> because of all this just nice little touches. Yeah. Um, also, I did not mind the happiness the waitresses had when I asked for water. Not, it's definitely not the reaction you get in Germany. And yeah, I'm not sure why that is, but yeah. In the U.S., I'm sure most of you know that already, but you, yeah, it, Water is assumed, like the, the waitresses will just bring you water without you even asking. It just comes to you and they're just happy to give it to you. And uh, yeah, so, but I know in Germany for some reason that, well, you guys have explained it to me that um, ordering a beverage is really important, but I'm like, why can't we have a water and order a beverage? I don't know. American thinking maybe. Because usually I'll get water and like my whoever I'm with will usually get a water, but they'll also have another drink. So that's why I don't really understand the German culture there. But I'm sure you guys, I know, I already know what you're going to comment. I've been making German-American cultural difference videos since 2018. So that's like 18, 19, 20, 20, four years of getting German comments and about every topic you can imagine. So like, I already know what you guys are going to say, but surprise me. Oh, okay, the next section is, I called it Dutch, but also kind of German words. Because, yeah, they're Dutch words that translate totally differently into German, but they look like German words, and they're spelled just the same as the German words. So, wait, let me see how much time. It's already 16. Uh, I'm going to save this, actually, these words for next month. So, this will be like a two-part Patreon video because I have just a few other ones too after that Mostly about the the language. So I've already made a video about the Dutch street Driving differences. Um, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen that So this one will be I guess I talked mostly about the big differences and then I'll put the language difference video um, That'll be uploaded soon on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and um, I'll see you guys later Bye